The setting for this story is March 2024, where some facts are true. Cody Schwab is the number one player in the world. Cody Schwab is also seen as the best fox versus Jigglypuff in the world. And Cody Schwab, at this point, hasn't lost an in-person tournament set versus Hungrybox in almost a year, dating back to Super Smash Con 2023. Now, let's look at some true statements about HBox in this time. Hungrybox has been juggling competition in Melee and Ultimate for the last couple years. Hungrybox has yet to win a major in those last two years. And Hungrybox possibly gains secret power from his gold chain that he wears every tournament. All of these statements are also true. And Collision 2024 would be a collision for sure. Two narratives facing off in the battlefield. Cody looking to prove that his tenure at number one remains uncontested. And Hungrybox who's looking to take his first set against his bracket demons like Cody and Zane in a long time and prove to everyone that despite his slight fall from grace of number one, that he absolutely has it in him to take tournaments and bring Puff back into the discussion against the best players in the world. At Collision 2024, they would play twice in the tournament, but today's story I'm focusing on their winner's semi set, their first encounter. As we begin the set, game one would go down as one of the most exciting games of the year. Cody would play practically perfect taking stock 1, stock 2, even stock 3 with such efficiency. If the last couple years of Melee showed me anything, it was that Cody was about to take a solid game 1, a tradition at this point. But that's not how it went down. HGOAT began to fight, and he would take the first stock with an aggressive rest to put it 2 stocks to 1, and he would change it up with the 0% gimp at ledge. A perfect blend of Cody's confidence to finish off the stock being thwarted by a prepared Hungrybox position to counter. And somehow, in just a couple blinks without anyone noticing it, HBox handed his controller off to Clutchbox, who finished the game on the back of a three stock comeback. And listen to that reaction. Oh, okay. Game, game one okay. pop Okay! Game one pop off. Okay! Because he is still here. HBox himself would discuss the precarious nature of his last stock, giving us the context in decision making, telling us about how history works in a smash set. Cody is not going to fall for another edge guard. He's not going to fall for another grab. So I might as well go for some crazy sh Like a back air up to. And by the way. <laughs> that's another thanks to Mewtwo King, the 0% stuff. Um. Noises. With HBox up a game, already a rare sight, it's off to Final Destination to abuse a lack of platforms and hopefully even up to set. However, I think we accidentally stumbled back in time to 2018 because instead of an intensely close back and forth, we would see a 3 stock lead from HBox that would lead to a game taken with 2 touches of death from the pink balloon. Game 2 goes to HBox. And even though the set would not be over, the rarity of seeing HBox not only keep the set close but be up against the number one player in the world after such a long drought between his last dominant wins led to the crowd chanting HBox louder than I've ever heard it in any melee tournament ever. Yo, okay. See, we're, and, we're back to the crowd, like, yep, yep. And, and see, this is what I'm saying. This is like, you know, when Katie's like dropping 40 in the third quarter, I'm like, oh, he's still got it. He's still the state of Melee in 2024 has us clinging to the last pushes for greatness from our old guard. And knowing HBox has been pushing to win a major again, to conquer his demons, we were witnessing history in the moment. Game 3 would go to the Schwabster and a confident 3 stock. And there you have it. You poke the bear. And now HBox will proceed to get 3 stock the next 2 games and lose the set, and repeat down a history of falling short to this incredible fox with his alien up airs and... Well, Game 4 would be looking much closer than Game 3 actually. It would come down, neck and neck, and with it all on the line, I've never seen someone more hungry to box this fox into the loser's bracket, and end the losing streak once and for all. It would not be Cody Schwab taking that game and I'll let you listen to the crowd.
Winner side stock for Cody and backing the game five possibly. Oh! Okay! Shaking, Yo, what the pop off? Shaking the foundations <laughs> of the Parsippany Sheraton. And hey, taking I, it I ain't in, seen a good Ace Box pop off in a minute. I ain't gonna oh lie, man. When was the last time he beat Cody before this? Is what I want to know. Like, online. H Box would double eliminate Cody at this very tournament. Might be going to grand finals. Oh, what he's, he's doing? doing? He's just going to grand finals. Cody hands it over to him on a silver platter. And but fall to Zayn for second place in what would be a magnificent return to the top podium spots for Hungrybox. The set showed us that even an old puff can learn new tricks, and fun fact, he even had Mewtwo King coaching him for this tournament. This year might be looking at the return of some old faces to the top of the summit. This has been Hungrybox vs Cody Schwab Collision 2024. Thanks for watching and listening to this episode of Stories and Sets.